Christy. I have been a little MIA. I've been working on a couple of projects the last couple of weeks, and it's been a little crazy around here. We had a big storm just over a week ago, and I blew down probably um, half of our fence. So we haven't been able to take the dogs out, and with the baby, having to walk them, it's just been a lot. And um, They're finally getting the HOAs doing their part of the fence today. And then we'll be able to let the dogs out, let them go do their thing. So super excited to kind of get things back to normal. Uh, but like I said, I've been working on a couple of projects. One of them is um, a tutorial from Andrea Lake, which I'm super inspired by her and so I was really excited to be able to take a uh, class from her um she's like she's like my unicorn you know everyone has a unicorn she's my unicorn um so this album here is simple stories simple stories snap album uh six by eight binder album and we're using the Simple Stories Vintage Memories collection that came out recently. Uh, wasn't really my, it wasn't singing to me, but I was super excited. Like I said, I was super excited to learn from Andrea. So I thought, what the heck? It's actually a really beautiful collection. Um, I'm glad went ahead and did it and just learned some new things. So let's dive in, let's take a look. So this is the cover. We use foam stickers, chipboard stickers, brads. Um, there's all sorts of different things. And then on the binder here, I just used one of the little stickers. And I did some ribbon for a pool tab to pull that out. But then I took the um, tag chipboard sticker from the brads and backed it with piece of paper and then I put 2016 to 2017 and so the pictures that are in the album are from my daughter's when she was one to two years old and so instead of just doing all of 2016 I figure I'm doing an album for her first year so I'll do one for her second year and then for the um you know little ends for the string I just took a couple of brads I had left over and Pop them on either side and that way my string won't unravel um, and it's just a little extra embellishment so that's that so let's dive in and one of the things that Andrea had us do was front and back cover are matching she said she likes to do this because it feels like a continuation of the album so here's the front and then the back is the exact same so you will see this beautiful you know landscape photo front to back so our first cover here is just this is from the six by eight paper pad it's just a smile and we use a bunch of brads um, popped up some of the cameras uh, just really you know you know me I love cameras so any opportunity I have to use them this this is the first page we've got some photos I did um, foam stickers I treasure you and so this page the papers are the same but I did I decorated differently and then here's a couple of pictures of my daughter and this is very much a classic I call it resting dad face um, but that was she you'll see through the album she has that face many times um, so here I kind of love this half page. We use cameras on the side to offset and then three photos. And you'll see they're of my oldest and our dog Padfoot playing in the backyard. And then here we went to Lego Fest in Houston. It's kind of like a, almost like Comic-Con, but it's for Lego. Um, and so this is the first time we'd been. My husband's real into Lego. My daughter had started getting into it, and so I surprised them with it. Um, one of the things in taking the class, a um, bunch of people were talking about sewing on paper. Um, they, you know, they gave me the courage to do it, 
But let me tell y'all, it's there's a real learning curve to it. <laughs> I practiced and I practiced and I was like, all right, I'm ready. And then I still messed up. But, you know, I love the way it turned out. I'll continue to do it. So you'll see here on this page, we have some stitching here. And I actually learned this technique from uh, Paige Evans, where you can stitch on it. You can also, you know, use washi tape or whatever. But then there's another photo here where she is hiding in a shark head. Okay, and you see her here between Chibi's legs. And then I added this little page in just because I had a couple of extra photos that I wanted to add. And I did additional stitching along the sides. And I just thought, I didn't plan this, but when I came to put the picture on here, I realized how much the mystery machine matches with the paper. And I was like, oh my God, it was totally meant to be. Um, but she, there she is with her dad driving the mystery machine. And I apologize for the light reflecting off of the photos. I did additional stitching on the pom-pom trim. Um, couldn't get it to attach with tape or glue or anything. So, um, did some stitching. That's where I had the biggest struggle and we'll definitely need to practice some more. Um, I also did different embellishments than she did. Um, but the main focal point is the photo, and that is of them playing with Lego. On to the next page. We have again Riley and her dad in matching Metallica shirts. And then just threw some photos in here of Riley with her dad. And then this has become, this photo right here, where they are walking away from me holding hands, has become a photo that I take on a regular basis. Um, I, I love it. It just, it warms my heart when they are holding hands and I just get to watch them from behind. Um, and so I love, this is, I think this is the, actually the very first photo I have of them doing this. So I wanted to include it. here we are a little it's hard to see but it says the goonies never die dress and then here this one flips up this is this is a sticker from the sticker sheet and pops up with foam stickers and then this opens and let me take it out so you can actually see what's going on here is i had riley dress up as her dad for halloween <laughs> with her little chocolate milk and there's her dad. This is what he looks like all the time. <laughs> he didn't think it was funny. I think it's hilarious. So now with the baby this year, we'll have to do it again. Um, now that she's a little bit older. Um, so then we have some Christmas photos of us. And in this one, I did a little different. Um, Andrea had it looking just like this. Let me take these out. And this blue strip was glued down all the way. Um, what I did is I actually made it a belly band so we can slide additional photos underneath. And they just go in like that. And then this flips up for additional photos. And I did some of the decorating differently on here. Um, I don't think she had this or this. Um, but that's what I like about taking these classes is you kind of have freedom to do whatever you want with it. It's just a, you can do exactly what she does or you can use it as a guide. Um, so here's another one of Riley and Padfoot and that is to this day, that is their relationship with each other. And then this one, let me take this out. And so this was a four by six cut apart that Andrea had us cut around the image and she had talked about just stuffing one photo in there and I thought how fun it would be to use three different images and kind of tuck them in there behind and so that's what we did here. And then this one what I did is I actually took the stickers on their colors and just stuck them on there. So beautiful, all smiles, you're, you are my fave, and beautiful moments. And then we have 
um, some pop dots and they're all on the outside of the page protector. Here we have another four by six cut apart and then a picture of me with Riley. And here's another one of us. This page was fun. Um, I'm terrible at tying bows, and so I ran out of twine to tie a bow here. I figured, what the heck, it's on the opposite page. It still goes. Um, but it's so funny. Riley has this little headband to keep her ears warm, and Dad wore it, and Grandpa wore it, and so I just wanted to put those in there. And then um, I'm probably going to come in with a little 2 by 2 journal card from scrapbook.com and stick it on there and actually write about this little scene. Hmm. Um, here is some additional Christmas. Um, we, <laughs> when we were living in Houston, we had huge vaulted ceilings. I sent my husband out for a Christmas tree and he came back with like a 14 foot Christmas tree. This thing was huge. We had to go buy more lights, more ornaments, everything. But honestly, the tree turned out gorgeous. Uh, and then I just put little stickers on here to kind of, you know, look like ornaments on the tree. And then here's Riley with her cousin and just did some little dots on the flower centers and on the little tag here. This was just a cut apart tag and what I'll do is I'll do some journaling about the tree, about Christmas that year. Um, here we are at my parents. This was her first time swimming. And then here, um, what Andrea had us do, I don't know if you can see the reflection, um, the shininess, but we used, um, I can't even think of what it is, but um, we used like a clear gloss on here to make the heart shiny. And then I just stuck a little journaling card on here to do some journaling about her first time swimming. This one, this was a fun page. Um, this actually pulls out. And so there's a little flower on here and a little brad that says home. And then here is a picture of Riley and Padfoot and it flips up to reveal another photo of Riley. Stick that in here, lift the flower, and then it just stays right there. So here's another one. Another little tag with a flower and a brad. And Riley, you'll see it's stitched. Open it up and there's another photo of Riley. Now here is dad for his birthday. He was eating a tomahawk steak. Um, the picture is just too funny not to include. And then this is us at the Houston Zoo. Now here is, um, every year we go to Galveston, um, for just a little family getaway. Uh, we've only one time have we stayed overnight. We usually make it a day trip. It's, and I'm not gonna lie, it's a long day because we leave probably five o'clock in the morning. We'll stop in Houston at a place called Frank's for breakfast and then drive into Galveston spend a few hours at the beach then we'll go eat at Miller's on the seawall because they have the best crab balls um and then we drive home and we get home at like 10 11 o'clock at night um so it's super long day um but Riley and her dad love the beach it is just like breathing air for them me I'm just fine staying <laughs> out of the water out of the sun um you know, sand gets everywhere. It's nasty. and But they have so much fun. So we do it. Um, I enjoy it because they enjoy it. Um, so we have a little pocket here. And this is one photo. I love this. You can see her reflection. And this is, this is her second time at the beach. But this was the first time where she was walking really well. The last time she'd gone, she was walking assisted. And playing in the sand. 
nothing but that little sand on her nose. Now, the fun thing is, I didn't want to block this photo. I think it's really pretty. Um, I love the reflection in it. But, these are actually pockets. So you could actually stick more in here. This one's smaller, so I'd have to trim it up. But, um, I left those open and then I decided that, oh no, there it goes, it fits. Then I decided that I wanted to see this whole photo here. And so I just tucked these in the back and I can always change it and stick those in there if I want and then here she's getting into the water and she's playing in the sand with her dad here um that is also a Riley and dad thing like <laughs> I don't like playing in the sand because <laughs> again the sand gets everywhere <laughs> um and then I did some stitching on this cut apart just to add a little interest mm -hmm. And I'm going to do some journaling right here. I can do some here about her second birthday. And that's what these pictures are. And you'll see here we've got more resting dad face. And another one hidden back here for her cake at her grandma's. And then I just have some little, you know ephemera tucked into here so there are actually two pockets here um so again if i wanted to i could come and tuck this one in here but i again i want to see these photos um i just love like she looks grumpy but that's just classic her um rdf resting dad face um so we embrace it and she just like look how cute she is how can you cover that up and then this is from her birthday party <laughs> more resting dad face <laughs> um so riley used to be a rep for small shops and we would be sent clothes to take photos um and so I actually have, there's several in here of photos that we had gotten for um, being a rep. And this tutu is one of them. And the lady that made it lives in Houston. And there was another girl on the team who lived near Austin. And her, so her daughter was on the team. And then um, there were a couple of other reps that lived in San Antonio that we had gotten to know. And they all came for her birthday. And it was so sweet that she had all these little friends um, that kind of did the same thing she did. And the lady that made the tutu came all the way from Houston with her family. Um, and so we ended up, we were able to get pictures with her and the other girl on the team. So that was fun. Um, but we went to a little splash pad park. Um, so we were actually supposed to have her birthday party in Houston when we lived there. And, um, we <laughs> ended up moving back because of Hurricane Harvey. Um, it actually, we lived just north of the reservoir and it had spilled over and we lost, we didn't have septic, we didn't have water, um, we were already planning on moving back to San Antonio and it just kind of sped up the process. Um, so we were supposed to have her party at Bear Creek Park there in Houston, which is a national park. Um, so we had to improvise last minute and we went to a splash pad park here in San Antonio and it, it worked out great. Um, we had a good time. So yeah, that is the album. I hope you love it as much as I do. I can't believe I actually got photos into it. That part takes so much longer than any sort of decorating and building and all of it is, you know, logistically trying to find the right photos for the right page. And, um, but I'm glad I got it. Um, I hope you love it. Let me know what you think. I will link the products down below. I will link the class to Andrea, uh, the link to Andrea Lake's class. Um, it is the class only now. Um, she no longer has the product, but there are a lot of fun details that you could learn taking her class. Um, like I've never layered up on the front cover of these. And honestly, I don't use, I have a lot of the binders because I love them. I love the look of them, 
but um, I hate how the rings get all wonky, so I don't use them often. But there are things in here that I will utilize into the mini albums that I make, and that's why I do this class. I do these classes and I take these tutorials so I can learn new ways, but then you also get to talk to new people. And the lady that actually created this, Kelly Bangs, um, created the collection for Simple Stories. She was in the class. Um, so that was neat. And there, you know, just a lot of people from all over that you wouldn't normally talk to. Um, so let me know what you think. Uh, and if you decide to do the class, I'd love to see what you make. And we will see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.